there are people who are born with enormous gifts. Sergio was one of the chosen people. He was charismatic. He was handsome. He was dynamic. He was creative. He was intelligent. And he is someone who dedicated his life at the price that he paid to try and help others. He was not someone who thought about himself, who thought about his own image, who thought about those things which most of us think about from time to time. And it is amazing to see someone with all of that talent who act as a catalyst for all kinds of people, giving people hope, giving people energy, to dedicate themselves to multilateral diplomacy. I remember him uh, as a human being, a very energetic person who loved to laugh, who loved to laugh, who loved to joke, uh, who loved to jog, who loved uh, to look for silly things, and he, as well as an exemplary professional. He was in his office early in the morning, he left late at night, he kept tight schedule, he worked extremely hard. He was a curious person who uh, went to a country and didn't want to stay in a room and in, a, in, a, in an office. He went around, he tried to see everybody, to talk to everybody, and uh, uh, you know, he was, uh, he was an ultimate human being. He was like you and me, I think, and he had a lot of potential that was taken away from him, and that's, that's the sad reality. Is, that he approached life with energy and intelligence, and he enjoyed life. He really enjoyed life. And uh, the saddest moment when that stopped, actually. First of all, uh, I considered him as being a friend of the Institute. And he was everybody's friend. Even uh, the most peculiar uh, personalities he had to deal with in the Balkans, uh, in East Timor. Everybody uh, was uh, sensitive to his charisma, which was enormous. That's why I call him a prince, and he will always be a real prince in my mind and in my memory. So for him, the commitment to human rights and humanitarianism grew from a, a general desire to serve the United Nations and to ensure peace and security. So he worked from his instinct when things were wrong or unjust or cruel or inhuman and attacked those who were committing the atrocities, verbally and diplomatically, I mean. And afterwards, he would look to see which theoretical premises, human rights or humanitarian law, he needed to back him up. But he didn't start from, is there a rights violation, and then decide to take it up. He knew when something was wrong. And I suppose many academics don't trust their instincts. Um, they work from theory towards a result rather than trusting something which is much more human. But in general, Sergio, as many people pointed out, was a great humanitarian. And I would not make a distinction between his interest in refugees or his interest in human rights. Sergio was interested in helping people. Well, I think... Um, uh, he had a, a sentence, uh, he repeated a sentence very often, saying that you cannot talk about collateral damages in a war, and uh, which meant uh, civilians being killed because of a war. For him, that was not the collateral damage, but the central damage. So I think this uh, is an example of how he actually had the human beings in the center of his work. He cut through all difficulties through, his, through the human approach. He saw human beings. Wherever he faced a problem, he saw the human being behind the problem. And basically, that's what made him always consistent, and that's what made him above, uh, above everybody else in the United Nations. Sergio is a role model. And he will live uh, with, at least, I hope, with the international uh, community for years as a role model. And, of course, the uh, extraordinary compassion, his uh, unqualifiable uh, death has uh, provoked all over the world, uh, shows that uh, it is still possible to personify a international role 
in the sense of peacemaking and also through diplomatic means peace enforcing, but you need an extraordinary personality. And personalities like Sergio, uh, you find one or two during a lifetime. He was at the personal level, and we know him as a person as well as a professional. He, he was very consistent. He, at the, he was a very likable, he liked human beings, he liked to interact with human beings, he liked people at different levels, he didn't, he wasn't the kind of person who would, would put you in a, in a box and measure you as uh, who, we, uh, who you are. So he was a, hum, a human being who believed in human beings and liked human beings and liked to be around human beings. He was a professional, committed, experienced, intelligent, and humane person who liked what he did and valued very, very much what he did. On behalf of the United Nations, I wish everyone involved with this project every success in the years to come and hope other countries will emulate its good work. Thank you.